Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this novena to our Mother Perpetual Help. We remember all the intentions we have in our hearts, the intention that people ask us to pray for, especially the intention of this Mass. And for the soul of Dominique Huang, which is one of the uh, prisoners' father, just passed away in California at the age of 80. And also for all the recovery for Maria Morris and, and a lot more people, Pat Ingley and uh, people in home bows. And, and so we put all this together and ask the Lord to give us uh, a wonderful heart, a heart to forgive, the heart to give. That's the theme for our reflection in our gospel today. And so let us offer this with Mary. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. Who reigns now with Christ our Redeemer and King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. Most holy and immaculate virgin and our mother Mary, you are our perpetual help, our refuge, and our heart. Mother perpetual help, we promise to love you always and to do all we can to lead others to you. Mother of perpetual help, confident of your powerful influence with God, obtain for us these graces, a strength to overcome temptation, a perfect love for Jesus Christ, and a holy death, so that we will live with you and your Son for our eternity. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mother of perpetual help, you continually sound the meaning of God's words and actions in your life. As we listen to God's word, May the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put his word into practice in our daily lives. Let us kneel to pray as a community of faith. Mary, all generations have called you blessed, and the Almighty has done great things for you. Mother of perpetual help, we call upon your most powerful name, your very name inspire confidence and hope. May it always be on our lips, especially in time of temptation. And at the hour of our death, blessed lady, help us whenever we call on you. Let us not to be content with merely pronouncing your name. May our daily lives proclaim that you are our mother and our perpetual help. Let us pray for our temporal ones. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest confidence we kneel before you. We implore your help in the problems of our daily lives. Trials and sorrow often depress us. Misfortunes and privation bring misery into our lives. Everywhere we meet the cross, comforter of the afflicted, beg your son Jesus to strengthen us as we bear our burdens and to free us from our sufferings and all of it be will of God, that we should suffer still longer. Help us endure us all with love and patience. May we follow the example of your Son, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us stand now to present our petitions and our thanks. Lord Jesus Christ, at a word from Mary, your mother, you change water into wine at Cana of Galilee. Listen now to the people of God gathered here to honor our mother of perpetual help. Grant our petitions and accept our sincere thanks. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop, Michael Gerard, our priests, redemptive missionaries, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. 
Grant that young people respond generously to the call of our Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Grant us continual health of mind and body and help the sick, especially those we ask us to pray for this moment. To regain their health according to your holy will. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased, especially Dominic Huang, and to the souls of all the faithful departed. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Let us pause now to suddenly present our own petitions to our mother of perpetual help. Lord, accept our thanks for the new life of grace you gave us. Accept our thanks for all the graces received through the sacramental life of the church. We thank you, Lord, to Mary, our Accept our thanks for the spiritual and material blessings we have received. We thank you, Lord, to Mary, our Let us pause now to suddenly thank our mother perpetual help for our own favors received. Please kneel as we pray for the sake. Lord, look upon your servants laboring under bodily weakness. Cherish and revive the souls which you have created so that purified by their sufferings, they may soon find themselves healed by your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now, I would like to invite you to reach out your right hand and also pull out your heart, your faith, conviction, the power of prayer, and ask for healing, even for forgiveness in our country, especially those who ask us to pray for at this moment. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with you, that he may defend you, within you, that he may sustain you, before you, that he may lead you, behind you, that he may protect you, Above you, that he may bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us renew our confidence in Mary as a perpetual help, mother of perpetual help. You have been blessed and favored by God. You became not only the mother of Redeemer, but the mother of Redeemed as well. We come to you today as your loving children. Watch over us and take care of us as you held the child Jesus in your loving arms. So take us in your arms. Be a mother ready at every moment to help us. For God who is mighty has done great things for you and his mercy is from age to age on those who love him. Our greatest fear is that in time of temptation, we may fail to call out to you and become lost children. Intercede for us, dear mother, in obtaining pardon for our sins, love for Jesus, final perseverance, and the grace always to call upon you, Mother of Perpetual Help. Let us stand now and unite with Christians of all ages in praising Mary, in committing ourselves to help to her powerful protection. Hail Mary, who of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us your mother Mary, whose image we venerate, as a mother ready at every moment to help us, grant, we beg you, that we who call on her help may always enjoy the fruit of your redemption. This we ask to you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In heaven the blessed your glory proclaim. On earth we your children invoke your fair name. Ave, ave. Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, 
Maria. This Mass is offered to pray for Anne, Bessie, Sam Vincent, and Jimmy Morello, Lisa Keys, Courtney Carr, and family John Pontiel, and also the Dominic's Huang So, In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. I don't know about you, but uh, I feel the the novena to our Mother Perpetual help is so beautiful. And I wish that we all could just get into that realm of holiness, the realm of mercifulness of God, the beauty of God. And I continue to trust in that beauty, in that mercy. And at this moment, let us offer this Mass, this sacrificial Mass, this Lamb of God, as a way to reach out to all people, especially within us, so that we have true peace within us, the person full of compassion and forgiveness. And that's what we are called and invited to do today. Lord Jesus, you're so merciful. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Jesus, you're so good and holy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you so loving. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. God of all creation, who were pleased to give the bishop, Saint Polycarp, a place in the company of the martyrs, grant through his intercession that sharing with him in the chalice of Christ, we may rise through the Holy Spirit to eternal life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Please be seated to listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. For all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. 
from all their distress and rest. You, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory, one does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, In praying, do not babble like the pagans, who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. The Gospel of the Lord. Before I go to the reflection today, I know some of you and many of us here uh, remember Father Joseph Stephus, yes? I think he's like a hero here. He's like a holy man here. His death anniversary is today. He died uh, 19 something? 2000 or 2008 at the age of 93. And Hung's father, she says right there, Hung, just raise her hand. She may be the only one of the two Vietnamese families, uh, parishioners here. Her dad just also passed away in California. So we pray for his soul, Dominic Hong. Same like, like my last name. My brothers and sisters, I hope the gospel today is serious for you and for me. Now, a lot of us, we can say whatever we want. I'm a Catholic, I'm a Christian, I'm a good Catholic, uh, I'm a devout Catholic, I believe in Jesus, I believe in God, I go to church every day. But the gospel today, most of us remember, memorize the whole gospel. And we pray this prayer, Our Father, many, many times a day. But do we know what we ask in and pray? Today, Jesus asks us to, to pray briefly, directly, from our heart, not from our mouth, because a lot of people pray with their mouths, pray with their words, but they don't not just believe in it. They don't think it works. They don't think it's is serious. Father, forgive my sins, my transgressions, as I forgive all the transgressions. Now, it's easy to say, but it's not easy to do. I, I put this a little bit of my reflection today, and one of my friends asked me, Father, are you talking about forgiving you say some party, is that political party? Yes. I don't want to spell it out. And when they ask that question, I say, uh oh, I'm, 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 I think I crossed my boundary here. But you know, it's so, some people today, especially here in our country, we believe in political party more than religion, more than God. You know, it's easy to, to ask God for forgiveness of our sins. 
but we cannot easily forgive other sins. And you know, today after that, Jesus said very clearly, if you forgive men their transgression, your heavenly Father will forgive you. If you not, then, then how can we live with this? How can we live with this? And you know, a lot of times, we say we have peace, but if we don't have forgiveness, we don't have true peace within. There's a very interesting story. Make when we say this is not true story. This is a story of this man. He was very, very poor. And one time he came to, to beg for food and the, the rich owner didn't give him food but give him stone. So he stoned him and he carried that stone with him for 30, 40 years until one day he proved that he's rich and he carried that stone to that old man, owner, the rich old man back then to stone him. And 30, 40 years later, that rich old man, he's so weak and he looked very poor as well. And he said, I don't want to stone him with this stone because he already dead. He's so weak and dying. And so at that moment, he decided to drop that stone that he carried for 30, 40 years. My brothers and sisters, the stone, if you, if you hand it, hold it out here, the first minute is light, but the next 10 minutes, the next hour, you cannot endure that, even a small stone in your palm. Same thing with our resentment, hatred, unforgiveness, if you will. If we don't give it out and give it up, if we don't forgive, we continuously, constantly carry in our hearts, in our minds, in our memories, and that will kill us, not the other person. And so today, let us forgive. Forgive not a party yet, but forgive individual, each individual one day at a time. And the third thing that God asks us besides bread, forgiveness, is don't lead us back to that temptation again. Sometimes they say that, Father, I try to forgive, but I can't forget. Keep forgiving until we forget it. I know we can, because if we believe that God can forgive us, let us be generous and forgive one another. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread to offer you food of the earth and work with human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have received this wine to offer you, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you gave, you have given us, that it might bring us eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Polycarp, 
you bid your church rejoice, and so you strengthen her by the example of His holy life. Teach her by His words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to His prayers. And so, with the company and angels of saints, we sing the hymn of your praise. With without end, we acclaim: Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth for your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you." In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me." The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Dominic Juan, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your Son in a death like his might also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters. Especially those we mention in this mass, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Jared, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus is our role model for forgiveness, and so with this. We believe that He is right here among us, inside us. Let us now offer to God. His Father is also our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of power. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I need you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us share with each other a sigh of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. The end of point. When I called, the God of justice gave me answer. From anguish you released me. Have mercy, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Let us pray.
Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go out and glorify the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you.